Well, welcome into Celtics post game live. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. And the Celtics are going to win on the second night of a back to back against this Raptors team, 120 to 118. And boy, Eddie, do the Celtics know how to keep things interesting? Or what's it out to you in this matchup? Well, turnovers and not taking care of the basketball, just getting too comfortable, uh, getting a little bit too relaxed and feeling like, okay, we got this team handled. Under, not understanding that that other that team on the other side has guys that are pros too, just like we seen last night. Is it was just a different half. Last night it was the first half. Uh, this night tonight it was the second half of relaxing. And when you take when you think you could take your foot off the gas, that's when you get pressed. And you got to always put pressure on the other teams and never relax. And and that's what happened. And it ended up being a game that it didn't have to be, but still. Off of that, it's always good to learn from a win than learn from a loss. Yeah, despite the 16 turnovers, the Celtics able to pull out a win. And a big part of that was Jalen Brown. He had 31 points tonight. He's with Abby Chin after this win. Jalen, you came back into this game with about nine minutes left, and the Raptors had pretty much completed the comeback. What did you say to your guys, and how did you guys close out this game? We just got to play our game. Uh, we were turning the ball over a little bit too much. They start upping their pressure. It was a different read from what it was in the first half, and we adjusted, and we found out a way to win the game. But, you know, we didn't panic. We stayed posed, composed. D. White had a big fourth quarter, and we made shots on the stretch. Yeah, how clutch is D. White? D. White was big, man. They were going under. We were making the right read every time, and we trust him and empower him to be himself. You know, a lot of guys out, perfect opportunity for D. White to show who he is. And the other member of that backcourt, Drew Holiday, locking up Scotty Barnes on that final possession. Exactly same. You know, Drew just a, a physical, you know, specimen. He's just being able to guard multiple guys on defense, whatever the coach asks, and on offense, being able to be versatile. So, you know, those two guys are real key in this, in this whole thing. Playing shorthanded tonight, you guys have faced some real adversity in this back-to-back. -back. What did you see from the group? Um, we just want to tell my guys to keep going. Like, to, let's let's have some fun. Let's run. You know what I mean? Let's make the right plays. Uh, in the first half, it looked great. Second half, they put a little pressure on us, but we didn't panic, and we found a way to win. Jalen, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Scal joining us live from inside of TD Garden. Scal, another night where the Celtics are led by as much as 20 points in tonight's game against the Raptors. What happened that allowed Toronto to get back in this match and before to come down to the wire? Man, it was uh, you gave up a wide open corner three, then you turn the ball over. I think they go 11 0, which ended up going 18 to 3. Then you get Jalen Brown back into the game. Eddie was right. Like the turnovers, like you take our game, you look at execution, we were good. You look at shooting, we, we shot it well. Defensively, for the most part, we were pretty good. But the turnovers really killed us tonight, but we found a way. And Derek White, it doesn't matter. It's amazing. He can miss a bunch of shots throughout this game. But that step back three that he hit off the dribble, not an easy shot, but he makes that one when they really matter. Eddie, what does it say about this Celtics team that they're able to pull out a win like this without Jason Tatum, without Chris Stats Porzingis, and without Al Horford on the floor? The funny thing is I was talking to this earlier uh, with, with Raquel, with Wifey, and I was saying early, you know, we would lose games like this. Uh, we would lose games like last night. But the fact of the matter is we find ways to still win. And you can learn from winning. You don't always have to lose to understand how to be better and how to win. You can still learn from winning. And so I'll take that. I'll take learning how to win and uh, learning from your winning mistakes. Even though you won, you understand what you did wrong, but you still won the game. You don't want to put a, a, a mark on that, on that, in that loss column because you guys failed to do what you needed to do. We do enough to get wins, but this is the thing. You, you, you're, 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 you're playing, a, you're on a slippery slope when you do with this now because you're getting away with it against teams like Detroit. You're getting away with it against a team like Toronto. When you play these real teams, and when it comes down to these playoff games, you got to be better. You got to be understanding that, hey, never take your foot off the gas. Never take one second. Never take one quarter. Never take one half for granted. You got to go out there and play the same way. Play your brand of basketball from start to finish. 48 minutes or however long it takes, that's what you have to do. And I, I feel like we're building towards that. And I'd much rather learn from a win then learn from a loss.
Scal, the fourth quarter, the beginning of that fourth quarter particularly is where things started to fall apart. The Raptors, went, they went on a 10-0 run, and the next thing you know, they're leading in this game. What started to unravel for Boston at that point? I just think, I don't think we took care of the basketball, and I don't think we guarded uh, well enough at that time. We just kept giving up dribble penetration. Eddie, man, I'm going to send my kids to you, man. I think, like, that message that you're sending, <laughs> like, they need that, man. My kids are a little bit soft where they, where they live right now. I think they can do – I think it would – That'd be really one week, one week with Eddie House. I think they'd come back maybe with a chain. I, I Not think with they'd a have chain. that swag. Yeah. <laughs> I, for sure, I'm sending my kids to Arizona to hang out with you, man. For sure, 100%. Wait, the fact that Eddie has a chain on standby, okay? He had to just reach to the right or the left right there, and he was like, don't worry, I got one on standby. My daughter the needs a chain. Come back. <laughs> my daughter needs a Terror Squad chain just Not to rock terror the Terror Squad. She needs to go to the AAU game with the Terror Squad chain, take that thing off with some Timberland boots. Not with some Timberland boots. <laughs> I'm going to let you go, Scal. All right, let's take a break here on something post game live and take a look at that final score between the Celtics and the Raptors. 120 to 118. The Celtics, they squeeze out a win inside of TD Garden.